Hey y'all, it's Bennett and I'm back for another pickups video. Uh, yeah, it was yard sale day yesterday and I also hit some thrift store action during the week. So uh, let me show you what I scored this time around. Uh, first off, we had a trip to Valley Rescue Mission, a thrift store here in town. And they, uh, I caught them, put them out, putting out some good games that uh, I was the first one to. And uh, so I stacked them all up, picked out which ones I actually wanted, put back about half of them and uh, uh, got the rest of this stack for three thirteen dollars a piece. Uh, plus something else I'll show you in a second. Uh, first of all, this is something you don't see every day at the at the thrift store. It's a uh, Planescape Torment and Icewind Dale for the PS4. Uh, you know, it's not like the most uncommon game in the world or anything, but you know, this is not the usual stuff to show up there. I'm glad to add this to the PS4 collection. These, you know, uh, role-playing games from the classic PC uh, series that probably a little too deep even for me to play but I'm gonna give them a try all right so we'll give it a go uh, all right let's see what's next well, okay uh, next we have the last of us and this is the uh, ps4 uh, greatest hits version PlayStation hits they call it these days uh, I already have the digital version of this and I just got a ps3 version last week so it's um uh, apparently Time for Last of Us to show up uh, everywhere I go. But, yep, so that's another good one. We got the Call of Duty Black Ops uh, combo pack. That's one and two for the PlayStation 3. And um, this will go, because I have copies of these individual games to beat the band, this should go uh, nicely to GameStop for some good credit. I think this is about 10 bucks worth of uh, store credit. Um, for the combo pack, so that'll work. We have Call of Duty World at War, which I just got a, I think I just got the regular Xbox 360 version of this recently, or maybe it was the PS, eh, the PS3 version. Anyway, uh, like last time I went somewhere, anyway, maybe it was during, but um, this is, <laughs> this is the 360 version in a, you know, Xbox One style case. Remember when Xbox One was first coming out, uh, they switched to this kind of case to be like, look, get these new ones in these smaller cases. They're they're better. Uh, and, you know, look, it plays on both systems. Um, but, you know, not fooling anybody. It's not actually an Xbox One game. It's just a 360 game in a, in a case that reminds you that you can always put it up on your Xbox One as well. So there you go. Uh, following that, we got Fear 2, because it's complete, and we gotta go with Fear 3 right along with that, also complete, and yeah, I, I think I already have <laughs> both of these in my collection on at least one system, um, but again, these are good pickups for 313 to, to go on to either, you know, sell on Mercari or eBay or bundle in with a 360 or uh, possibly trade in. I don't think they trade in at um, GameStop, but maybe at the other places around. Um, so couldn't leave them on the shelf, that's for sure. Nobody else can have the cool games, okay? They're mine. They're from me. Put them back. Mine. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops. Once again, these are ubiquitous everywhere. Uh, every time you go out, you get a couple of copies of Black Ops, so another one to take to GameStop. Uh, paid, you know, three bucks for it, and I'll get seven or so in store credit, so that's easy money for GameStop. Uh, then we have the Red Dead Redemption, the original Red Dead Redemption uh, Game of the Year edition, so it has the Zombie Nightmare uh, DLC already on the disc and all that stuff, or it should be on the disc. At any rate, it's included. Uh, yeah. Undead Nightmare, excuse me. Undead Nightmare. Whatever I said before. Uh, Undead Nightmare. If I said Zombie Nightmare, that's a uh, <laughs> Mystery Science Theater zombie movie, and it's hilarious. Uh, anyway, Red Dead Redemption. I, I think I have the 
you know, uh, the loose, the, the original, you know, just by itself copy of the full game. And I think I have a um, standalone copy of Undead Nightmare, but here's the one where they put it all together. So cool, cool with that. And then finally we have Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. Uh, I have picked, I get these all the time, Fallout 3. And uh, unlike, you know, most things, like mo most uh, games, it, you know, it's like 50-50 whether they're gonna have the manual or whatever. It seems like everybody keeps their Fallout 3 manual uh, in there. So that's a bonus, I guess. Uh, Cause there it is. And Fallout New Vegas, I just got, I think for the PS3, but now I have it for the 360. Or maybe I got it for a free screen. I don't know. Anyway, a bunch of games, cool games that were uh, going up on the shelf, and I thought I could make some good use out of them, whether keeping them in my collection or selling them on uh, Mercari or some such to continue to grow the whole thing. That brings me to the other thing I got at Valley Risk Commission. Uh, and let's start by saying that it was taped to this big guy right here, uh, which I did not want uh, in the first place, but it was like strap taped to it. So I kind of had to take this along with it. Uh, and I'll show you what you got here. Uh, like a year ago at this time, I could have sold this pretty easily on uh, eBay for a, a pretty solid 30 bucks or, or more. And um, maybe along with a couple of Wii Fit type games, but um, that's what this is, a Wii Fit board for those of you who don't know. Uh, with a green uh, protector pad on it. Now uh, they don't they don't do so well. So yeah, we'll see uh, what I can do with that. But uh, yeah, that uh, was strapped to this complete in box. We woohoo! This was all behind the counter, and uh, I had them you know bring it back to, for me to see, and I looked through it. Um, and the only thing it was missing was the sensor bar, which fortunately I have uh, a number of extras in my collection for various other pickups. So yeah, I got that covered. I can, I can easily put one of those up in here to complete the set. Oh, and it also didn't have the copy of Wii Sports, unfortunately, but uh, if I don't have an extra copy of that um, to go in here, which I kind of don't think I do right now, but anyway, you know what? I put my extra copy uh, in in the complete inbox we I got at a yard sale a few weeks ago, and that has gone on my you know shelf, not one of these, but the one over there. I, you can't see it from where you're looking, but um, yeah, and it's in better shape than than this one, and you know I'm gonna keep that one and sell this on to some other lucky uh, uh, fan who wants a pretty decent completed box to go on their shelf and got it for the low low price of $16.06 because that's how we do it at the thrift store so and that's a that's a great price for complete box. and I was really stoked to find it for that price so yeah that was a that was a really great trip to the thrift store uh lately that one has had a lot more video games to um, to go on the shelf and uh, and check out. Um, the Goodwills are still not doing games on the shelf because they uh, are selling them online, and you know, I guess you can't blame them for getting the most they they can get out of out of that. But um, Valley Rescue still coming through for me. Uh, oh, also take take to that we and um, and the. Uh, uh, Sport. I mean, the, the Wii Fit pad were uh, a Wii wheel, which is awesome. I can I can always flip these. Uh, I have several already for my own use, but I can you know flip one of these uh, pretty easily, especially if, if I have an extra car copy of Mario Kart, which I don't think I do right now. But even by itself, you, you can flip these for uh, ten bucks, maybe yeah, a little bit. You can you can get something out of these. And this um, Wii Mote. Uh, tennis racket ping pong paddle looking cover. Uh, this is going to go straight in the trash. Uh, so, up next, other stuff crashing there. 
Uh, up next is yard tail, yard tail time. So yesterday, yard tail Saturday, and you know how I went out there. And I went all over, went to a couple of neighborhood yard tails. So I really like neighborhood sales because you can you can fit a lot of business into um, a, a compressed uh, space and amount of time. So you don't have to drive all over to get uh, from one sale to the other, which my, my town is kind of sprawling for the size of, for the population it is. It's kind of really spread out. So it takes forever to get from one place to another. But when you got a, a neighborhood that's doing eight or nine or 10, you know, houses uh, having a sale in the same neighborhood, that makes it super easy to, to look around. And so I didn't score a whole lot of uh, different stuff or in a whole lot of different places. I uh, left my name and number at one place where they said they were going to get their kids to go through the games they had in the attic or whatever and call me back. So we'll see if that ever happens. Probably not. But um, I did find at one place uh, I asked if they had any games they were interested in selling and uh, the guy went in and found uh, for me Wolf Among Us. Dead Island, what do they call this? The uh, Definitive Collection, which has Dead Island, Dead Island Retro Revenge, and uh, Dead Island Riptide all in one place. And Destiny. Now, I didn't really want Destiny. I already have a copy of it, and it's, you know, you can't get anything for it. But um, uh, he said make an offer, and I said, I don't know, five bucks a piece, and, um, which is a little higher than I might even normally have gone for, for these. But... Um, uh, he was a he's a dad at my at my daughter's school, so I you know gave him the uh, uh, the benefit. I didn't want to like uh, completely lowball him or anything. So um, he and you know in that same spirit of camaraderie, he said, "Sure, why not?" And threw in the, de the copy of Destiny for free. So these three for ten bucks total. Um, so that's cool. These will go on the shelf, and I'm looking forward to give them giving them a go. And then I don't really know what I'm gonna do with destiny but maybe he'll put it in a bundle at some point and sell it uh and then the only other real score i had um was an intriguing uh project let's say uh, and i'll just i'll just show you the main attraction here uh although it did come with a number of like controllers and accessories and stuff like that but the main deal is this original Xbox, can you see it? It's uh, it's clear, but it has a green uh, disc thing there. So I don't really know what edition this is. I know they had a crystal clear edition um, Xbox that uh, uh, still could be, but I'm pretty sure all those had um, like silver, um, jewels there or whatever so i don't know this could entirely be an aftermarket shell also because um it is in fact a fully modded xbox uh you can see the little uh extra doodads that have been soldered on or whatever and and um yeah the guy said it is already loaded up with 3000 some odd games and uh everything that needs to be in there to have the full modded Xbox experience and uh, so I've been wanting to mod an Xbox myself and I just haven't gotten uh, the, the wherewithal to, to just get up and do it so um, finding one in the wild for uh, I ended up getting her for um, 25 he he, uh, he said you know it said make an offer and uh, I was like I don't know what you want and uh, he said 25 and I was perfectly fine with that because I was intrigued at you know being able to play the modded system and also uh, maybe add more games and things like that because I've been messing around with emulators on my computer lately anyway and uh, uh, so I have tons and tons of games that you know may be able to plug into this uh, here Xbox so I'm excited to, to start this little project um, and the guy said it needs to be reflashed which I'm not 100% sure what that means but it's uh, something not too um, taxing and and that should just basically make it start working again 
Uh, so, I don't know. I'll let you know how it goes, I guess. And, and anyway, uh, it, bare minimum, it's a pretty cool looking Xbox for $25. Uh, you know, it's beat up. It's, it's obviously seen lots of use. Um, it's not pristine, but it still looks pretty cool. Uh, much better, uh, much cooler looking than the kind of standard black um, behemoth that is the original Xbox. And yeah, I'm all about checking out these um, ROMs that are already on there and seeing what else I can do to put some old school games on my TV through this here Xbox. So yeah, that's probably my most fun find of the day. Uh, and you know, what I'm looking forward to messing with <laughs> going forward. Uh, yeah, like I said, it came with some controllers. I'm not gonna bother showing you, they're, they're not anything special. There's, there's a, there is a, an adapter that lets you use PS2 controllers or PS, yeah, PS2 controllers on the Xbox. So that's interesting. Otherwise, you know, usual kind of stuff. So yeah, a successful day yard sailing. I didn't spend a lot of money, just um, $35, I guess. And a 36, if you count the um, dollar for popcorn I uh, spent. <laughs> and um, yeah, I had a great time. Picked up some cool stuff and I'm um, looking forward to doing it again next time. So thanks for watching. Thanks for coming along these journeys with me and uh, we will uh, see you next time around. Have a good one.